Okay, so here we are, uh, the first prototype. I've set it up um, in the studio configuration. Uh, one of the things that I've done here is I've got the strip lighting and I've taken some, essentially some uh, parchment paper and wrapped it around that to diffuse it a bit. Um, I've used uh, if you can see it there, uh, some stay ties, zip ties, to secure it to the top, so that's good. Um, I have cleaned that glass. It is very clean. Until now, I just put my fingerprints on it. But anyway, um, so I've done my prototype, my, my proof of concept photo, and it seems to have worked. I think the trick here is going to be to put the... Um, the camera just slightly above the mid-level here. See that line? Um, that, when I was trying to clean it up, that was a little problem. So, as we come down, you can see, it just needs to be probably about that high. The other thing that, and this is a limitation of my studio, is the, I'm getting some, um, the light comes through that back rim and you can start to see a little bit of a shadow across the background. I think the further away I pull the rig out, it's going to make it better. Um, I'm going to go underneath here to show it's a very simple configuration. And as far as the hinge goes, just took a, a very simple L bracket, put one, one screw through it, and, um, and I use this channel for the glass that gives the glass some stability and also gives me where is it? gives me some handles to lift it up and I'm using the clamps here to secure it level uh, hopefully I'm going to come up with a better rig for that maybe some something a little cantilevered um, but it pivots on the back and I think that's that's the key to this the other thing that I found out with the prototype it's be it's probably best to do it with an odd number of sections. Alright, that's it for now.